Welcome back to another edition of Let's Paint TV, the street version. We're here at 5th in spring. We're going to paint a beautiful view here on this street here, the beautiful street view of all the excitement of the street life and all that kind of stuff. And uh, so now we're just going to set up set up our paints and uh, we'll take your questions about painting as we go along here. And uh, so if you got a questions, we'll take those questions now. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll just set up. The, the big old building there, the Alexandria. So there's a lot of activity. So let's just go ahead and fill this up. And uh, there's no rhyme or reason, so we're going to haphazardly, we're haphazardly, we're sort of arbitrarily making the approach here. Okay, there's not a, uh, we're, not, we're not spending time uh, trying to figure out how much composition, we're not, we threw that out the window a long time ago. And let the composition come to you as you go. So that's what we're going to do here. So with that in mind, uh, I kind of sense that it, uh, we're going to paint that uh, that building in the background, and that's sort of the sky. So I'm, I'm kind of working the negative with a lot of black, and, and then put some blue in that black. And cut your blue with a little bit of white. It helps if you can. Uh, and actually, stay away from all altogether the black color if you can. Try to make your own black if you can. Uh, mixing like alizarin crimson. Uh, 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 ultramarine blue and then a green uh, usually a phthalo green is a better green now right now i'm using a sap sappy green which doesn't quite do the job but we're going to make it work <laughs> and, and that's the trick here guys is to, to work with what you got because a lot of times it's not so much having the accuracy it's more about uh it can be more about the excitement about being at the presence at, at the site at the place you know so uh You know, and, and deal with it that way. Uh, but right now, this is the beauty about painting outdoors, the beauty about experiencing the experience of, of life with fellow human beings and out there trying to get you guys out there excited about creativity and painting. Okay, so uh, let's see if we can get this Alexandra on the side here. Uh, and again, we can, we can, the advantage of uh, sort of haphazardly going about this without the idea of uh, spending too much time or, you know, avoiding too much time is that we can always feel better about making a change, a dramatic change. Yeah. Uh, so, like, I'm arbitrarily kind of putting stuff in, okay, but I can easily make the move and, and wipe away with paper towels and rags, okay? There we go. Keep on going down. And we're just going to kind of get the rest of this area down. Here's the street. Get the street in that's a little more uh, lighter, if you notice. Uh, a little more lighter in the street area. So let's get that area going on here. Bring on the light. Bring down the foot. Bring down the chair. Just bring it on over. Bring it on over. Bring that paint down here. And now we got the, the light over here of the, of the street building. The building is more of a yellow ochre or a red or, or a white. Let's get that going on here. Here we go. That's it, just kind of bring it on up over here. And again, we're just kind of, we're kind of laying down, we're kind of jumping off the deep end, we're kind of getting stuff going here. And we'll do some fine tuning here in a second here. If you're watching the street version of Let's Fake TV, guys. We're here, uh, last month we were here, and we're here this month uh, uh, for a limited engagement. An unlimited, unlimited engagement, guys. Make sure you go to letspaketv.com for more information about Let's Pay TV. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this down here if we can. Here we go. Uh, and again, painting, the process can be kind of overwhelming, overbearing, but again, persevere, my friend. Just keep, keep going with the paint and fill all the areas that you see with the particular areas of paint that you might see that might be fields of color. The fields of color. So, like, we're painting that building here kind of overall, kind of like, it's a lighter color, say, than the, 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 the sky, you know? So, let's just go ahead and fill that up if we can. Bring that in here. There we go. And uh, it's not a... Yeah, these are oils. Yes, they are. Okay, so let's bring that down. There's that other building down there. Let's see if we can kind of capture that. Uh, let's see if we can get that to work. Here we go. Bring that in. And then there's that, that uh, the Spring Street action right there. So we're going we're gonna to wipe away that particular area and really pop that out with a lot of white. that too myself because I, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at fault at that myself. I'm at fault at that myself. Okay, so, so we kind of locked in, you know what I'm saying? We got a sense of what's going on. Well, see, now we're blocking and 
are blocking in. So it's not a matter of, we're not fine tuning, we're, we're just starting to swim, we're on the deep end if you will, we're in the deep water, like you know, uh, a really, you know, we jumped off the high dive and now we're there and we're having a good time. And we're, so we're still moving the paint around, we're not fine tuning it yet. Hold on, my friend. It's sort of like when you paint, when you're writing, you're a writer, do you ever do an outline or something? Do you ever, yeah, so you don't like going to the nitty gritty of stuff, you, you kind of just sort of give an outline. Okay, so that's what we're kind of trying to do here with, with, the, with this painting, is that we're trying to experience the visceral, 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 right. visceral, visceral, right. uh, 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 kind of proximity of what's what we're experiencing right now, you know, uh, in this experience with you guys, trying to talk to you guys, trying to paint, trying to do it all. We try to do it all here at Let's Paint TV, guys. Make sure you go to letspaintv.com, and we do it all Monday through Friday, 11 to 12.30. Letspaintv.com. Yeah, we want uh, internet. It's internet. Internet TV, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a slow budget, you know. Okay, so uh, now, now I, I've been using the big brush. Been using the big brush. Let's. Uh, and I'm a big fan, by the way, of the big brush. We like to use a big fat brush if possible. The bigger, the better, because you can spread more. You can spread more. It's just like, uh, do you use like a little teeny tiny uh, 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 utensil to spread the butter, or do you use like? Would you rather have a big? Well, no, that's not a good. That's not a good ad. Uh, ad uh, uh, but, but, but if the butter's too hard, then you don't really want a big, thick thing, do you? <laughs> so, you know, uh, these, these analogies do not always work out. But we, we go with it, you know what I'm saying? We, we, because that seems to be the, 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 the cheap, easy way in to beginning to paint. But, but oil paint's the way to go because it's so forgiving and it's, it's, it's a very uh, 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 visceral kind of uh, visceral. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm, uh, yes. Can I get your name? Yeah, my name's John Kilda. Bring the A. Bring the I. Bring the A R. There's the R. It may be a little too big, the R. I might got a little happy on that R. A D. Get a D over there. Uh, and then. Sort of a kind of 